an expansive severe weather outbreak is coming to the United States on Friday. Weather model guidance is getting into good agreement regarding the evolution of this massive storm system, which looks like it will bring widespread intense severe storms. To start off the video, let's take a look at when these storms are expected. On Thursday evening, isolated severe storms look possible across parts of the southern plains. Thankfully, widespread cloud cover will help keep most of these storms below severe limits and isolated. Further north, wintry weather will start breaking out across the upper Midwest. As moisture heads north, widespread rain and some non-severe storms will overspread the Midwest and Great Lakes as we head into Friday morning. A rapidly intensifying low-pressure system over Nebraska will shift eastward. This will produce another round of wintry weather from the Dakotas and eastward. As we go through the morning and then the afternoon, storms will begin developing from Texas up to Wisconsin. Once these storms develop, they will rapidly intensify and race eastward. Some of these storms will exceed severe limits, potentially producing significant damaging winds, very large hail, and strong tornadoes. The storms will gradually weaken as they continue into the Ohio and Tennessee valleys through Friday night. Additional severe storms and heavy rain will become possible across the eastern United States throughout the day on Saturday. So who can expect severe weather? Firstly, isolated severe storms will be possible in parts of the southern and northern plains on Thursday evening. Damaging winds, large hail, and maybe an isolated tornado will be possible in the southern plains. A separate marginal risk area extends from Nebraska to southwest Minnesota. The primary risk here will be large hail. The real story comes in for Friday. Intense and widespread severe thunderstorms are expected Friday afternoon into the overnight hours across portions of the Middle Mississippi Valley and Mid-South vicinity eastward to the Lower Ohio and Tennessee Valleys. Intense damaging gusts and several tornadoes, some strong and long track, are expected. The highest threat of severe storms will be within these moderate risk areas. One of these moderate risks is in place from Iowa and Illinois. The other one is located from northeast Arkansas into extreme southwestern areas of Kentucky. As we move into the first day of April, an isolated severe weather threat will develop in parts of the southeast. This threat will be confined from southeast Alabama into eastern North Carolina. Another marginal risk area is in place for northeast Ohio and northwest Pennsylvania into western New York. The primary threat will likely be damaging winds. Because of the rapid intensification of this storm on Friday, a very large wind field will develop. This will bring widespread strong to even damaging winds across the central and eastern United States. The National Weather Service has already issued widespread wind-related alerts across many areas. Dry conditions coupled with strong winds will result in critical fire weather in the south-central United States. Areas shaded in the hot pink color are under a red flag warning. Wind advisories are in effect for areas in the tan shade, with high wind watches along parts of the southern Appalachian Mountains. A widespread snowfall event is also expected with this storm, with even an area of freezing rain possible. A swath of heavy snow is expected from South Dakota into Michigan. Six inches or more of snow is forecast from Rapid City, South Dakota to Duluth, Minnesota, with an area of 12 inches or more within this green shade in central and northeastern South Dakota. Another area of heavier snowfall is forecast from the Twin Cities to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. 12 inches or more of snow is possible mainly from northeast Wisconsin through most of the Upper Peninsula. Another winter-related impact will be freezing rain. This will pose a threat from eastern South Dakota through northern Wisconsin. Areas that receive heavier ice accretion may see tree and power line damage, leading to power outages. Travel is discouraged unless absolutely necessary during the storm. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed today's update, please make sure you subscribe to this channel for additional updates. If you have any questions about your location, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you, and see you on the next one.